part. The stroke is a three-part process. You stick your feet in, right? The first part of the three part of the stroke is what we call the catch. If you were, if the camera's looking at me right now, my torso right now is in 11 o'clock position if my torso was a clock. So if my body's a hand on a clock, I'm keeping my torso in 11 o'clock position right now. So what I'm doing here is now I'm not rounding at the spine, I'm keeping that same upright torso and that keeps this and this activated. So what I'm gonna just first do in this first part of the stroke is just push, but I'm gonna keep this torso in that 11 o'clock position. Keep the torso in 11 o'clock position and keep the heels glued to the foot pad. So I'm here, drive, here, drive, here, and then that's all we're doing. Keeping the torso. So remember, don't lose that spot, that thing. You just work, you're working on still keeping this nice upright torso. Good. Sit up nice and tall, and then she's gonna hip hinge. Boom. Now keep this. No, yeah, yeah, keep this. Keep your arms nice. Yep, right there, and then and then we're coming back in. Drive with the legs, but don't lean back yet. Keep this torso here. Keep that torso there. Now drive. Keep the torso here. Try not to rock back a hair. Think about this is still being at 11 o'clock position. 11 o'clock. There you go. Because remember, rowing is a push, not a pull. It all happens through here. This finishing part is where is the only time when you're pulling, essentially. So here, we did this part. Now we're adding this part. So now I'm activating my hips now. I'm squeezing my ass to create more power. So here, legs, hips. Now, do you feel how I drove hard with my feet? I'm not going like, right? I'm here, I'm going here, legs, hips. Now, what did my torso do? It went to one o'clock position. Excuse me, a one o'clock to 11 o'clock, according to this camera, right? Yeah. So it goes 11 o'clock, one o'clock. 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock, yeah. That's right, so my torso is going from this position at 1 o'clock, if you're looking at clock, I yeah. leg drive, then it swings back into the one, 11 o'clock position. Yeah. So arms are still straight, remember? Yeah. Not using my arms yet. So I come in, hip hinge in here, legs, hips. Now what we don't want to do is this. 11, like 11 o'clock first, lean back early. I want you to separate legs, then hips to start. We're gonna break this down. So grab the, a little more on the outside of these chin. There you go. Okay. No, you need to, yeah, just drive harder. Just drive harder, harder. Legs, hips, good. Legs, hips, there you go. Now you're getting more comfortable. Legs, hips, good. That's actually how you do it, good. Come on out of it. I come here in position again. Legs, hips, and then arms. I pull right to the sternum. So I come back in, the one o'clock position, legs, 1, 11 o'clock, and then just finish up here. But I don't lift my arms until after I swung that. Here, legs, hips, arms. First up, a little higher than, so a little earlier on, make sure you keep the arms long. Legs, hips, arms, good. There you go. That's actually pretty good. Legs, hips, arms. Good. There you go, a little higher, a little higher. Legs, hips, arms. Good, there you go, good. So then relax, good. That is the basics of rowing. So what do I just did? I do legs, hips, arms. Just back, arms, hips, legs. Get back into it. Think about that less, but what I want you to think about is just doing this. Punch out and come back. Now come here, punch out this first, and then we're talking about it. All the while keeping the heels tight, glued to the ground, because you'll naturally do the other part. But frequently what happens is people do this. They go like this. So what you need to do is punch out. But I always tell people, punch out. Yep, legs, hips, arms, punch out, yep. There you go, drive. Come in, yep. Good, punch out, then recover, good. Legs, hips, arms, a little more lean back. There you go. You're almost there. You're at three. You're at 397. Give me, give me three more calories an hour. Oh my God, give me one more calorie an hour. You're so consistent with your base. There you go, 432. Punch out, recover. Good. Give me one more hinge at the hip. Yeah. There you go. See, now you're at 400. Give me, give me now 500. 
Ah, you know you, you don't have to do much to go high, right? No. So here we go. Come in, hinge, a little more. Hinge at the hip when you come in, yep. A little more. Give me 500, Mom, then you're done today. 500. You're at 425. Aha, uh -huh, now we're up, 477. Don't be shy, don't be shy, 491. Oh, I see, that's how you get the. Yeah, so there you go. Aha, uh -huh, now we're making some noise. Come in, still work the technique. Hinge at the hip. Fine, come on, 499. You had 498 right there. 498, 491, give me 500. There you go, she did, 505. <laughs> now you're done, relax. Good, and recover, good. And there you have it. That's how you roll. And you move the